John here guys and today we are here with this RC crawler that has a brushless motor installed. This is the Subotech Venturer. It also says Surpass right here. It is a red Jeep. This is a different one than I reviewed last time. That was a brushed crawler that was a little bit bigger. This one's a little bit smaller, but the quality of this thing is immeasurably higher. I can't believe what you get for a hundred bucks on this thing. Uh, we're going to go into more detail on the bench, but look at, you can see this metal differential going back here, like super impressive. This is four wheel drive, uh, but a more traditional sense. It has these, you know, actual, I'm going to take off the top cover for a second. It has these actual shocks in here that have you know the little metal rods in the center and these actual aluminum springs this is incredible it has a brushless motor as you can see right here esc uh the little receiver right here comes with a 2s battery that looks like it's a pair of 18650s uh put together and wow i have You'll have to forgive me because I have committed one of the cardinal sins of reviewing, which was I went out and played with this thing before getting my initial footage. So you're going to see some of the hits, some of the scrapes on this thing. And as you can see, um, it actually held up pretty dang well. Everything still is totally functional. Now, I'm not a huge RC car guy. And this is way faster than my experience level would have allowed me to safely navigate. And as you can see, I put it through some pretty hard crashes. I did initially attach an FPV camera system up to this luggage rack that fit really well. You can see this little light actually is turnable. So I was able to use that because I attached my FPV camera to it um, to adjust my camera angle. It was really cool but I only got one flight or one drive uh, before I realized that FPV in this thing was not gonna work because it was too fast. Even a turn at full speed, it would send it uh, flipping about. Um, so I had to take that system off. I launched a battery in the street. I didn't even remember. And then a couple days later, I was walking from my little daily walk and found a battery that had been ran over. It was just a little tiny 300 milliamp 2S, but well, that thing's gone now. So let's take a look at some of the specs. Here is the box that it comes with. This is a 114th scale. It has four wheel drive. This thing um, has full shocks. It has a rudder machine. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, it has full function forward and reverse turn and uh, this thing is made of engineering nylon and it can strengthen the high-speed car's capacity in anti-collision and beat resistance. So if you're in a rap battle, this thing comes with beat resistance. That's pretty cool. Um, what else does it have? Um, that 2S battery is a 650 milliamp capacity. Um, it comes with a few other disclaimers all around the back. Look at this thing. This is not a toy. This is an authentic hobby grade. Just in case you're wondering, not a toy, guys. Um, let's go over some of the things inside. They have a really thorough manual right here. Uh, and that is really cool. It comes with some little hardware in there. There's a little screwdriver and a little lug wrench for being able to take off the wheels and work on them it comes with this charger now when you order this guys make sure that you select the right plug for your country um, this is for a european plug and i need a us plug now there is an option for that and sometimes when i'm sent review copies they don't always ask me but i had other chargers i could charge so when you order just make sure you pick the right option when you order it uh, let's see a bunch of other tools couple of screwdrivers. This is actually a pretty nice little small screwdriver That's probably gonna stay on my bench for working on my quads It comes with some I guess this is axle grease mm, Handy it Smells kind of like Vicks VapoRub. No, it doesn't actually <laughs> But it looks like a little tub of it, doesn't it? <laughs> 
Uh, a little brush for, I think this is for like brushing your mustache, maybe the eyebrows. Perfect. I'm going to keep this before I turn on the camera every time. Very nice. And it has like a little tiny hand. Can you see that little hand? Weird. Uh, this is a LiPo, um, actually battery checker. Pretty cool. You'd have to normally pay like six, seven bucks for one of these. Ooh, here is a heat sink for that motor. Uh, I probably should have installed this before I drove it. Ew. A couple of zip ties and another wrench. This one looks like it's made out of steel. This one has seven millimeter over here, five and a half over here. And then whatever these tiny ones are on the edges. So you get quite a lot of extra goodies and then we'll cover the radio on the bench. Okay, so let's pick up on the bench. One over all of this stuff. I like that it has this little luggage rack. That's what I was using to attach my FPV system. I had the camera up here, BTX, and a little battery to power it here. Uh, but as I said, I had to take it off because I was smashing it to bits. If you wanna get an idea of what that looked like, I had a little $9 AKK race right here, and then I had the camera mounted with a zip tie here. And as I said, I could adjust the angle. And it was actually a really nice view. I'll include the little bit of footage I did get with it, but it was just way too fast, and I was afraid I was gonna smash this $40 camera. This is the uh, Foxeer Falcor 2 great FPV camera. So here's a couple of other features. This is These are some actual things you could tie stuff on. It's like a real luggage rack. Now there's a little switch here that you can pop up. And this is actually really convenient because this little door will pop open if I can do it with one hand. This whole thing will pop open and then you can change your battery without taking off the body. That is really cool. So let's just demonstrate that. This little thing comes up and you have your battery right here. It has just a little 2S um, and it has a Dean's connector. Let's go ahead and remove the whole top cover. I went ahead and took these off before. Now when you take this off, there is a little uh, connector right here that plugs in on the receiver. And what that is for is these little LEDs uh, up here that powers the LEDs on this little top part. So take a look at this bad boy. Check out these metal shocks. Super tough. These tires are nice and grippy. And they were having no problem. Look at this tough little servo. Uh, you know, your receiver has an actual receiver antenna. That's much better than the last uh, RC truck that I covered. Here is the brushless motor. And uh, let me see if it has any details on here on what size this motor is. I'll put them on the screen if it doesn't. Uh, but it's a pretty nice motor. I mean, this thing goes like a decent speed. And uh, you can actually attach the heat sink on there just like that. There we go. Install. I should have done that prior to. Um, and, of course, here comes the battery. Now, this uh, looks like, is this the servo? I think. Or that might be the ESC. This is probably the ESC already has a heat sink on it with a little capacitor. Pretty cool. Now check out the steering under the bottom right here. These, uh, this like little linkage in here is metal right there. That's really cool. Some of these are plastic pieces. Um, I crashed head on really hard, kind of dented this outer plastic part, but it's still, works totally fine so you're gonna see some pretty tough crashes and uh, this thing survived totally fine a little bit of scrapes underneath here um check out this rear differential man this looks like a full-size vehicle almost really awesome and so the four-wheel drive on this is through this differential um and not just uh 
through some of these that have like belts or something like that. This is really awesome. And this is almost sort of like a like a shock leafy spring type thing in the back here. I'm sorry I don't know all of the RC car terms. Um, but I think like this is not a super serious RC hobbyist thing, but this is definitely like above toy grade. Like it said, this is not a toy, not a toy guys. I won't make the mistake of calling it a toy. Uh, it's some serious, serious stuff. Very cool. So what do you think in the comments? Is this something that you might want to get? Um, I really, you know, it's, it seems in the RC car world, there's stuff like this, that's like mid range, there's stuff that's like 30, $40. And then you, before you know it, you can get up to like the thousand dollar stuff. I really can't imagine what those high end things are adding. So if you are an RC car guy, please leave me like, what's the difference? Like what more could you ask for? I mean, I, I guess you could get a little bit more durability, but this thing took some like super crashes and it's still totally fine. I mean, I guess some of these could be upgraded with metal parts to maybe last a little bit longer, but this bumper is actually gonna you know, absorb a lot of that. And this is like a hard plastic on top, and this little thing that holds these lights is actually metal. So, and a lot of those flips and crashes, you would hit against these things, and it would keep your plastic body safe, as you can see, the plastic body still looks almost brand new. I have like some scratches on the little rear corner here, but that's it. Like no cracks, no nothing. Very impressive little crawler guys. All right. Thanks. Oh.